Hi, everybody. It's Mrs. T. Do you remember what I told you on the very first day of class my favorite thing to teach was? If you thought coding, you're right. And because we're not in school together because of the COVID-19 crisis, I'm not able to teach you coding in person. However, I'm putting together a series of videos that will help you begin to learn some things about coding and to start practicing those skills. What I'd like you to do is to use um, the Scratch interface. Now, inter face is just something that we use um, that we can see on our computer screen. So you'd go to this website here, scratch.mit.edu, and that will bring you to the main Scratch page. When you get to that page, you're going to click on Create. You don't have to worry right now about having an account with Scratch because you can create without having an account. Um, you probably won't be able to save your project, but at least you'll start to get a flavor for how this works. And if you want to create a, an account, you can certainly do that with your parents' permission and with their assistance. An important feature to Scratch that I think a lot of you will like is that Scratch can be changed into different languages. Right here, it's set for Greek excuse me, English, but you can see you can change it to all different types of languages. So find the language that works best for you. So here is the basic Scratch interface. There are three important sections to, for coding with Scratch. The first section is located to the left, and that section is right here, and it's called, this is it, this is called your block palette. Your block palette has a number of different blocks. You can see them here. I'm pointing to them. And these blocks are ways that you're going to build code. Your second section is right here. And this section is what we call the scripts area. And this is basically where you get to edit or you get to um, add building blocks to form your programs. These are the two most important pieces because without these two you cannot cont continue um, to create any programs at all. So these are very important. The last section I want to point out to you is this section here that we call the stage. Okay, The stage is where you're going to uh, see the program at, when it runs. So for example, you're going to grab your building blocks throw it here into your script area, and then when, when you want to run it, you'll click this little green flag and you'll get to see your program run. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. But those are the three main areas. This here is called the Scratch Cat. Each project defaults to a Scratch Cat. When I see default, it means it's automatically set up for the cat to be what we call your sprite or your main character. You don't have to keep the cat if you don't want to. You can actually change the cat by going down to the sprite box down here. If you go down to the sprite area, you can actually click on the sprite and you can pick another sprite if you want. You don't have to pick this particular sprite. Right down here where it shows the little cat and the plus sign, if you click there, it will open a new page for you that allows you to select a number of different scratch um, sprites. But we're for now gonna stick with our cat. What exactly can we do with Scratch? What does it mean when Mrs. T says we're going to code a program, we're going to make the Scratch Cat do something? Well, that's very simple. We're going to right now make the Scratch Cat move. So we can grab, so I'm going to take my Scratch bot block here and I'm going to drag it to the scripts area where I can edit. Now you'll see it says that I can make my cat move 10 steps. Well, I want my cat to move 25 steps. Okay, and so I can change that. You can put as many steps as you want. I would just caution you, don't put so many steps that your Scratch Cat goes off the screen because you haven't created the code to bring the Scratch Cat back to the screen. So let's, let's be reasonable and have the Scratch Cat start with something small, like 25 steps. Now once we have our Scratch Cat, who's going to be moving 25 steps, all set, let's do something different. Let's take a look at some of these other options available on the left-hand side. One of those options is looks. So let's go to looks. And let's say once the scratch cat has moved 25 steps, we want the scratch cat to say hello for about three seconds. And after the scratch cat says hello for three seconds, let's have the scratch cat do something different. So I'm going to have the scratch cat turn 15 degrees, then I think we will be done. So let's take a look now. We have 
motion of 25 steps, you see, then he's going to say hello, and then he's going to turn 15 degrees. That looks about what I want the scratch cat to do. Once the scratch cat has turned 15 degrees, then I think I'm going to be done. But what I need to do before that happens, um, before I complete my project, I need to create an event that makes this begin. So for example, if I sent this to you and you wanted to make this, see what the scratch cat was doing, you would have to do something called an event to make that happen. So if you go down to events here, we can make choices about when the scratch cat will start moving 25 steps. We can do it when the flag is clicked. We can do it when the space bar is pressed. We can click on the sprite. We have a lot of different options. I'm going to choose when the flag is clicked. So when the flag is clicked, my scratch cat should move 25 steps, say hello for three seconds, and then turn 15 degrees. So now we can click on the C project page and take a look and see how my scratch cat is working. When you come to the C project page, you're going to have to give it a title. We're going to call this scratch cat surprise. And then you need to give instructions. In other words, tell people how to use your project. For example, which keys should they press in order for it to start? So we're just going to write, press the flag to begin. And now we're ready to check it out. So let's press that green flag and see what happens with the scratch cat. Hello? Scratch cat now turns and scratch cat is done. So that is the entire project. I'd like you to spend some time playing around with this yourself and then see if you can start using some of the other blocks that I didn't talk about. For example, we did do hello for looks, but are there other things that we can use? Are there other blocks in sound you can use? And, and things like that. So go ahead and play with this for a little bit and create your own project. I look forward to seeing you really soon and keep looking on, on this page for additional projects.